Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of State Champs Esports. We are in our week two of Rocket League competition for our fall tournament. I'm Denver from, uh, as I mentioned, State Champs Esports, and I'm joined by Bruno, who is the student coach of the Royal Oak team that is squaring off against Divine Child. Before we get started, let's thank our uh, presenting sponsor, Lawrence Tech. And of course, our other great sponsor is Hungry Howie's Pizza. Bruno, how's it going tonight? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Now these two teams uh, faced each other last week and it was a pre oh OPP bomb with a quick score less than a minute into gameplay. And uh, as I was saying, these teams faced each other last week and it was a pretty lopsided victory. Looks like uh, uh, it's they're off to a equally quick start here tonight. Bruno, uh, any chance that uh, Royal Oak could uh, pull out at least one of the matches uh, victory tonight? Well, I don't know. Divine Child's a pretty good, pretty good team. Um, I am planning to play a game with them, but they're actually really good. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, I think the scores were, you know, well into the teens, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, Divine Child was the one that got 13. Once. Right, right. So I have a feeling that's going to be the case again here tonight. What I'm uh, hoping for is that at least Royal Oak can uh, get some more points on the board. Oh, Clogger! Uh, whoa, okay, Royal Oak. Tying it up again. Like, I mean, they, really, they do have a chance. They're getting really better. Um, Sexy Grape is actually really good. Um, really good at start-offs. It's pretty... They're getting better. They're getting better. They are a rookie team, but they're starting to get better. Well, I think that's the main thing you want to see from a rookie team is that they... Uh, Make progress. Right, exactly. So... Oh! Grandmaster Cobb! Well, that... That tie didn't <laughs> last long. Uh, it seems like they're scoring almost at will. They have some pretty cool uh, um, goal effects things. Yeah, and let's see if uh, Royal Oak can, uh, can, can fight back here. Yeah. Oh, Carl! Uh, okay, so their Divine Child's really spreading it out. So far, each one of their team members have scored. Yeah, that was pretty cool what uh, OPP Bomb did. He was, like, using his rocket fuel to stay in the air. Yeah, he set him up perfectly for that score. Uh, let's see who gets... Oh, Divine Child got the kickoff. And will they get another goal? I know one of the, Yes, they will. One of the problems Royal Oak had last week is they were not leaving anyone back on defense for those face-offs. So uh, Divine Child was winning most of those, and without anybody back on defense, they were able to just score pretty much at will. Yeah. So it looks like the Royal Oak is staying back on D. Oh. Very good. Keep this oh, one. Ooh, close. nice, nice defense. The <laughs> Royal Oak's gotta get that ball out of their end. And here's a tip for uh, my team that I'm trying to tell them: um, they gotta space out their rocket fuel. I noticed a lot of new players are just using all the rocket fuel in one little go. They gotta space it out because rocket fuel takes uh, like boosts them at the same amount of speed why do you need more so they gotta like gotta, what opb bomb's doing he didn't use space it, it out oh, oh that was close that was some nice defense got it just out of the oh, range oh, 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 back with the second goal of the the match pretty impressive I have to say, Royal Oak is doing much better than last week. Yes. I like what I see. So I think it was OPP Bomb who scored, but they just handed it over to the other team because they scored on their own goal. <laughs> as long as it goes in, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. All right. So, um, Divine Child's taking it away. Oh! 
Grandmaster Cobb got a score right now, and now it's five to two. Divine Child is winning. That's what I thought would happen, though. <laughs> Honestly. All right, let's see who gets the kickoff this time. We got Carl Clogger. All right. Uh, oh, Royal Oak did get the kickoff there. Oh, <laughs> sexy grape blew up OPP bomb. So OPP was really a bomb. Oh, OPP bomb score. I love that effect he has on the goal, like that weird monster thing that dabs. Like, whoa, look at that. Alright, let's see who gets the kickoff here. We, um, it's now 6 to 2. Oh! Alright, okay. Easy go for OPP bomb. <laughs> Honestly, 7 to 2 now. Um, not a, not a even pie chart here. Um, Royal Oak has, um, has to get some better defense, I, I think. Alright, let's see who gets the kickoff here. Who gets the kickoff? Oh, it was Royal Oak! Divine Child did get it, but Royal Oak bounced it back. Alright. Oh, okay. OPP bomb. Got it. Um, now on Royal Oak's side, is he gonna make it? And he is, of course. OPP bomb. Alright. Oh, I wanna see this replay. I love replays. Gives you a better perspective. Oh, that was a nice one. Royal Oak is getting better. I think in the future they're going to be a pretty good team. Yeah. Just Divine Child has a lot of experience, so... Um, you wouldn't really think Royal Oak to be better. Oh! Oh my gosh, that was close, Carl. Oh, that was close, Carl. Right, let's see. Oh! Oh! That's Carl! Grandmaster Cobb with the er, Carl with the assist. Grandmaster Cobb with the goal. Wow! Look at that, Carl. S Carl sets him up with the perfect goal. Honestly, that's these guys are pretty good. Let's see who gets the kickoff here. Yeah, all right, Divine Child gets the kickoff. OPP bomb is going in. Carl. Oh, that was a good one. Oh wait, that's not Carl. That's Grandmaster Cobb. Alright, let's see what Carl can do. Oh, alright. Carl, oh my gosh. They made it to the double digits. 10 to 2. Divine Child is winning by 8, so... Yeah, Royal Oak can't come back on this, I don't think. Unless if they just had a big miracle, honestly. Let's see what goes on. Oh, Divine Child got the kickoff. Carl is leading it in, and, uh, oh! Grandmaster Cobb literally hit it away from their own goal. Wait, what is he trying to do? Is he trying to score? Because it seemed like Grandmaster Cobb was hitting it towards a goal. Oh, they're trying to waste time. Okay, I see. Let's see. Ooh! One minute remaining. Oh! Who's the OPP bomb? Oof. So close yet so far. Alright, we got Carl right here wasting time right there because. Oh! But. <laughs> he, he just gave them a free goal. And that was my sister who scored. Not really though, because Carl just pushed in his one goal. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go! Ooh, ooh, OPP bomb with the kickoff there. Oh, Grandmaster Cobb, they now ha they now have 11 points. If they can get to 15, that'd be pretty, pretty good. <laughs> 11 to 3, Divine Child is winning by, by a lot. We got Claw Girl, alright, let's see who gets the kickoff. Divine Child, of course, gets the kickoff. There's Carl. Oh, that was so close. Alright. Yeah. Now, on the plus side, I think this is the oh! most. Whoa! OPP, OPP bomb. bomb! With only seconds left on the clock. Uh, what I was going to say is that this is the uh, most 
amount of goals scored for the Royal Oak team in one match. So I will say uh, they've made uh, big improvements in that area, uh, as you could tell by the score. However, they really need to focus on their... Oh, Carl with a goal. Now it's 13 to 3. What if they can beat the, really like, the record on this team? 14 goals, that'd be pretty insane. Well, that's their record against Royal Oak. Who knows how many they've scored uh, against other teams. Yeah. Maybe even more. Ooh, Royal Oak with the kickoff. I think they just let that happen because <laughs> OPV Bomb was literally just standing there. Yeah, like, psyching them out, I think. Using some oh, they beat wow. the record against Royal Oak. So, 14 to 3. Not a pretty good pie chart. Royal Oak lost this one. Well, I think Royal Oak losing was a foregone conclusion. It was really just a matter of uh, how well Royal Oak could do uh, as far as scoring wise. Oh, oh, no. oh, my God. oh, 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 I think, I think Clogger almost knocked the ball into her own yeah. uh, hole. And, and then Carl went in and it was like... Sexy Grape and Reek had tried to uh, keep the ball from going in, but Carl was there to nudge it forward. Yeah. All and right, the guy three, named Carl's a two, savage. One. Okay. Okay. Let's put a fork into match one. Oh, here they're, they're air dribbling it. They're air oh, dribbling it. They're keeping it alive. Oh. oh they that is a good one right while. there. All right, Divine Child, no surprise here, takes uh, the game in a big, big way. 15-3. Now, remember, folks, uh, we are not doing the best two out of three. We're going to play three full matches. So even if Divine Child wins the next one, which I'm sure they will, uh, we will be back for a third match. Yeah. All right. What does Royal Oak have to do, Bruno? Is there anything that uh, they can do to, obviously not to win necessarily, Just but... Just to get more points and better defense. Yeah, so to what, what can points. they do on defense to, to stop these guys from just... Well, first of all, to score? first of all, I noticed when they, um, when they're on defense, they, they keep driving past the ball. They, um, they have to stop where, where the ball is. So then they can hit the ball because they. Just I think don't. accuracy is a is a big issue for a lot of uh, rookie beginner teams. So yeah, they definitely need to work on their accuracy for sure. Yes. All right. Zero to zero. Let's see who gets the kickoff. Divine Child, of course, and OPP Bomb. Oh, is he gonna get his first goal? Oh, oh he did. He, OPP Bomb was. He took the shot, then got his own rebound. That's impressive. Yeah, I, I just want to see this replay. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And then he's right there, so that's a, a good lesson for everybody. Take your shot, but don't hang back. you got to stay aggressive and keep going right after the ball. And You'll never you make get, it if you never shoot. Yep, you get a lucky bounce, and you can and bump it in. All right, well, well that's a good, good defense, defense by Clogger. Yeah. Clogger's really been doing well this oh. season. Is the, uh, oh, oh, oh. all right, that was a close one, OPP, or Grandmaster, I think, actually. All right, Royal well, Oaks, they got to clear this out. This Will problem. Dominic get a goal? Well, oh, Dominic's in now for a Divine Child, right? Yeah, Carl got subbed out. He had to okay. leave, I'm pretty sure. Carl was just scoring too much. He had to spread the wealth a little bit. <laughs> get some of the other guys in there. He kept scoring too much that his computer overloaded. Oh! Who is that? Dude? Okay. Oh, Grandmaster Royal Pop got, got a wide open goal. Can they clear it? Oh! They're back on defense, so that's good. Royal Oak is. Uh, yes, if they can get a goal right here, that'd be pretty good because then they would be even. They gotta and tie it up. They it's might be able to make it to overtime one of these games. Overtime. They might be able to tie it, get a little overtime, because, I yeah, mean, I'm that's... I'm going to hold my breath, but that would be... That's normal for a rookie team and a pro team. 
what I've noticed for some rookie teams, they've been, they beat the pros because the pros get a little too confident and they're like, oh, we're going to win, and then the, the noobs just beat them. Well, everyone can get lucky, that's for sure. And, and uh, hopefully Royal Oak will get some of that. Uh, let's see. Luck. This is Clogger right here. I do gotta say, though, Royal Oak does have some pretty good, uh, cool avatars for their cars. Yeah, Claw Girl uh, has a cool, cool avatar, and she's doing really well. Although, I think my favorite name of the Royal Oak team is Sigzy Grape. Oh, Royal Oak! Oh! So close. That ball just skimmed right across the front of Divine Child's goal. A lot of collisions, a lot of crashing here. They're moving the ball really well. Defense is strong. Oh, will they get a goal right here? Royal right, Oak gets back on defense. Not the best game for out. Divine Child. Honestly, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I gotta say. Well, Royal Oak's well, doing pretty good on defense. I think Divine Child knows that they've uh, got this series in the bag, so maybe they're just working out some new strategies and techniques. Oh, and Dominic there you go. Scores. Like, this is, they're playing hard. They're doing, they're playing hard. They're not, they're actually trying. I know that for a fact, because I've watched them play a lot of times. That's how they try. I think Royal Oak's just getting better defense, because if you notice, all three of them are staying back on defense, and when they have the chance, they're going up to score. Right, and well, that's that, what we like to see. And that's, that's a good strategy if you're, you know, if you're getting the score run up on you, then you might as well all stay back, play defense. You might not score, but, but at least you're not going to get, points. yes, you're not going to get totally blown out. And, yeah. and if you can keep it tight, at least, you know, you might get a few lucky bounces and, uh, and yes, they are trying to waste time because they know that they, Royal Oak is really, they're getting good. They're getting good. Um, me just spectating, I'm going to get worse at this point. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was close. That child almost makes it three. Can D Royal Oak get back uh, on defense? Grandmaster yeah. Cobb hit the ball the wrong way. I think they're just trying to air dribble and waste the time because, as you as you can see right now, they're not even trying to get into the goal. They're just running the clock down. Because they, they're down. already winning. They're already going to win. They just want the game to end quicker by just not scoring. Uh, see that? They're just hitting One it. One minute, folks. One minute remaining. Let's see if Royal Oak can do anything offensively here. They are doing kind of a mean play, though. They're thinking, um, they're making Royal Oak think that they're about to score, and then they're just coming in and going to try hard and blocking their balls. <laughs> it is a smart but mean play. Well, it's, I wouldn't say mean, it's strategic. The more goals you score, the longer it's going to drag the game out. It just fools with their mind. And there you go. Three to nothing. Cab. It'd be pretty impressive if Royal Oak could score a goal in 27 seconds. I've seen somebody score seven goals in this amount of time. Seven goals within 27 seconds? Yes. Wow. Actually, it was 15 seconds. That's insane. All right, Claw Girl, let's see if she's got anything in her. And they got the she overtime. She seems to be the scoring leader of the night. Oh, 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 oh. OPP bomb got the wow. goal. Let's go. Uh, I shouldn't be it. rooting for them. <laughs> yeah. What kind of coach are you? The one that supports both teams, I guess. No, I know. It's, it's good sportsmanship. This game is not... Uh, it's not like football. Well, it's not like, really not a like, question as to who's going to win. We know Divine Child <laughs> is going to win. Is gonna, yeah. And the goals are kind of exciting. Let's see what Royalo can do during this time. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. Oh, wait. Happy New Year. There we go. Take a photo of that. If Royalo can win, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Like a million of them. All right, we got one last final match, and then uh, who else is Royal Oak playing this week um, on their schedule? They are not. They are playing um some people. They are playing Rockford over the weekend. 
Okay. We ha- we are getting a time set for the weekend for Rockford. All right, so we've got a few more days. Uh, what's your practice schedule been like? Have you been working with the team and trying to help them out? I know they've been practicing. They have been quite practicing. A um, I will start attending some of their practices because I'm just a little busy in some places. Oh, just now? What kind of coach are you? This is an outrage. I've been busy before I started coaching. All right, and while we're waiting, I am going to be doing a Fortnite live stream tonight, so if you guys want to come join me in that, just uh, go to Bromations on YouTube. All right, a little free plug there. And yes, of course, uh, since we're plugging things, go ahead and, and check out our State Champs eSports social media. We've got a Facebook page. We've got uh, Twitter, Instagram. Facebook. And then, of course, yep, I said Facebook. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, uh, if you're watching this now, you're already on our Twitch channel. So. Did you say YouTube? Uh, our YouTube is State Champs Net because that actually has all of our sports uh, as well as. Uh, the last game already started. Wow. Okay, Divine Child is going hard. They're playing it like oh, scrims. Oh. They're playing it like scrims. I but thought he was gonna dribble that in midair. That would have been real. I've impressive. seen that happen. You know what would be pretty mean to do to this rookie team? The rookie team, you know how they just keep driving past the ball? What would be mean is if they were pretending to hit the ball, but they just did it, and they just stopped. Oh, oh Master okay. Cav. I wasn't even looking. It's the first score of the last and final match. They're really playing this like it's scrims. There was no uh, defense by Royal Oak back there. They were just, I think Grandmaster was even in the goal waiting yeah, <laughs> just to get that rebound, but didn't even need to. He was just like, hello. Let's see, Rekid hits the ball towards the... Oh, okay. All right, Rekid oh. gets a little clear. Can she follow it up? Oh, oh about, about the Rekid name, I made that up when I played on Xbox. <laughs> oh, oh, Grandmaster Cobb again. Back to back wow. goals. Grandmaster Cobb is a pretty good team. I think he's one of the best on the team. So I, I would go from OPP Bomb to Grandmaster to Carl and to Dom. So Dom, it looks like Dom's still in there for this third and final match. Yes, pass. Carl did leave the game. And All right, Royal Oaks got the ball down and. The two Five teams. Thousand. Can they get it in? No. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. They're actually doing pretty good. Royal Oak had some nice defense Unless there. Gets it. Can we get back? Can Royal Oak needs to get back? I think the two teams that are going to be in the finals is Divine Child and Rockford. Well, I don't know. We haven't seen any uh, play from Dakota, who were our winners last year so i'll be curious uh to see how they're doing they might not even be in the tournament because i haven't seen yeah they're in the tournament oh they are yeah because oh, i haven't seen them in the discord nope they uh played last week oh and claw girl, claw girl. all right good job claw girl She's keeping Royal Oak alive. I believe she's got she their the only best. goals of the night, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, Lydiana got one. Oh, Ray Kid? Ray Kid got one. Okay. So only, uh, oh, Sexy Grape got one too, so all three of them oh, have got did. a goal. Okay, great. Unless if Sexy Grape didn't, but I know for a fact Ray Kid and Claw Girl did get a goal. Oh! <sighs> There we go. Grandmaster right, Cobb gets a goal. Get the, uh, oh, he blocked the... <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> He's playing goal for Royal Oak. I'm sure if Royal Oak appreciates his, uh, his help on that one. He should get a teamwork me that medal. Best maybe, team. maybe he's trying to keep this one close for some unknown reason. I, I think he played does defense again. <laughs> Honestly, the, um, the Royal Oak Dominic, him. Dominic is probably the best offense because, as you see, he is pretty good at air dribbling and dribbling in general. But um, Grandmaster and OPP Bomb are good at scoring and um, defending. 
Okay, let's see. She has a moment of silence. Claw girl looks like she's hovering around, ready to shoot. Oh, and uh, Dom right there. Is he? Oh, oof. if it's he can get a goal, right. if he could get a goal, I would. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot that. Bomb. He hasn't got a goal this whole time, but I believe in Dom in this one minute and fifty seconds. Alright, let's see if Oh, PB Bomb right. is still playing defense for Royal Oak. He might as well join the Royal Oak team. Maybe they bribed him. Heh. We'll give you $500. Oh! Yes. Oh! Oh, PB Bomb. <laughs> Save that one from going in. Oh, PB Bomb is just that one kid um, who thinks that's his goal. There you go. Oh! Striking distance. Can we get the rebound? No! <laughs> Oh. Sport on them. Also, Rocket League isn't about just anonymous shooting. It's about like mass is a part of in like geometry. I yep, would say you gotta work those angles. Cause uh, in your head, you just gotta work the angles. Oh. Any remaining? Oh, pee pee bomb again. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, okay, there you go. Finally, uh. finally. He had to show some loyalty to his team. Yeah. OPB Bomb is just trolling at this point. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna DM Dom and ask. OPB Bomb is just like blocking all your goals. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> he lost it again! What? What? <laughs> Come on, Royal Oak. Let's, Come on. let's see if Come we on. can get something going here. Oh, you missed. In the final seconds of the game, let's let's try to get something. Let's see what happens if OPP Bob can defend another. OPP Bob <laughs> oh, is playing <laughs> goal, but he is not score. At least he's not scoring for Royal Oak. He might be playing goal for them, but he hasn't <laughs> scored any goals. <laughs> What is, uh, Claw Girl doing? She's... Okay, Mom, get it. He's trying to score on his own team. I don't get it. Well, that wraps up the the game, I guess. Uh, Divine Child won by three to nothing. Yep. Uh, didn't, based on last week's games, didn't think that Royal Oak had... Any real chance to uh, to pull that one off, but uh, you know they got to get their reps in. They gotta just play those matches. So everyone, thank you for watching. We'll be back again at the very least with uh, Royal Oak taking on Rockford. Uh, look for us this week end, and during the week we'll try to get some more uh, live matches for you here on the Twitch channel. Uh, this has been Denver and Bruno for State Champs Esports. Of course, uh, before we go, we got to thank our presenting sponsor, Lawrence Tech, and also Hungry House Pizza. Bruno, any final thoughts or words? Oh, uh, watch my YouTube stream that's going to be going on this night. Fortnite. And where can they find that? A Bromations on YouTube. I'll type that in right, the chat. everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time.